that comes out here, man, finds himself at all. What a great tournament to come back to here. He is going to be going the classic character he's been maining for quite some time. So be, are we going to see C-Sharp dare a Pikmin to recover? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that'll be one opportunity to probably make. He's already starting off very strong right now. The, the wall has been set up. Yeah. It's almost like we're looking at the wall of old versus the wall of new. Of course, Olimar was an insane character back in Brawl. Yeah. And even in Smash 4, they were one of those characters that was definitely really underrated. At times. Not at, a lot. At, at times. At yeah. times. You didn't see too much Olimar, honestly. It's definitely one of those characters you didn't see shine. In this game, he did yep. have a bit of a meta placement, but now he's kind of like falling off. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit strange, dude. We saw C-Sharp with a rather handy lead, but then Rich Brown... Like, you just look at the uh, the percents right now, and Rich Brown is up, like, a solid 50%. Yeah. You can have control there, but once your opponent is able to just come back on the stage, to, to, despite percents, Ooh, you, you can definitely some, still make it back. Get some with the axe. Ooh, I like the uh, I like the reverse cross. You know, he's covering his back. Yeah. He dared Rich to recover, but not the Pikmin. <laughs> <laughs> That's next level play. He's man. working he's, up to it. He's yeah, working he's up working to up, to up to it, man. He has a level up, up for it. He does yeah. have a blue Pikmin. That is a uh, very handy KO for Rich Brown. He's, uh, he's cycling a little bit. You know, he wants the white Pikmin for early damage, of course. And uh, nobody's ever going to turn down having a purple Pikmin. Oh, I would have loved to have seen a grab there. He kind of set up Rich to go for that roll recovery. Oh, that was beautiful play by Rich. He's gotten him to 0 to 75 off of that one grab. Olimar just such a powerful character when he has the, uh, when he has the right ideas. Oh, caught this man slipping right there at the yep. ledge. You can't sleep on the Belmont's range. Yeah. That whip is the Dracula killer. You cannot sleep on it. Vampire killer. A family heirloom. Yeah, Rich just kind of getting around the traps before he has time to set everything up. Even there, he, uh, he uses the whistle to get through the fire, get out of it, and uh, gets uh, gets away with that stock with little more than... Oh, oh he's oh, able to recover that up I like the idea by Rich. If he's able to get that at a little bit higher percent, like how we're at now, it will be the end of C Sharp's last stock. Yeah. I like how C Sharp is using that cross to kind of come right back in. He right sets the cross, moves in forward. But Rich might be actually catching up to it. He has been holding shield a little bit longer than usual. Yeah, it seems like Rich is really doing well with catching the uh, the startup mm -hmm. of all these projectiles. Olimar's frame data is a little bit better in that regard. He's even unable though, to get the holy water F smash set up. Even though like Richter's range is pretty like long, the startup frame is not that great. Frame oh, 12, yeah. 13 on the return for its own. Good startup, good come I'm not terrible startup, but you know it's got a good comeback factor. You yeah, and it, of course the F tilt, all the uh, all the whip moves will kill. Yeah. Apart from up tilt. But uh, you know, Rich not caring about any of that. He just, you know, blue Pikmin up throw. Think about here too. You're done. The thing about here, too, for C-Sharp is, like, um, I did like his use of Holy Water in the beginning, but I would right. have loved to have seen if he used Holy Water in a sense where, like, I'm going to use it to trap him, and we did see Rich go for that roll. That could have been a grab. We did see him go and toss away the cross from away from his opponent right. to kind of cover those options. That's one thing that, like, the Belmonts are really good at is being those trap masters. I think Rich kind of woke up to the properties of the bottle, of, the, you know, the Holy Water bottle. Yeah. I think... I cannot remember, but he may have used it against him once, and after that, he just didn't want to use it again. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to take that risk if he knew that Rich knew the counterplay for it. And uh, yeah, he's not staying, uh, not staying Belmont here. He is going to Shulk, which you know you cannot fault somebody for going to Shulk in this game. <laughs> yeah, it's probably one of like all of our worst matchups out there. Shulk being able to live at high percents, able to deal enough damage. I mean, we've all seen Nico versus Myron. Nico versus, uh, of course, a couple of latest victories here against a Buzz. Right. Ooh, I like that. I like the use of vision for that. Very smart play. Oh, he's stuck on Buster Art, though, and if the Pikmin are attached, he is going to be taking a lot of percent. Right. Here. As you can see, he's already at 102 right now. Up throw, or down throw, actually, I think. All Mars throws are hard to read, man. <laughs> Oh, he's Ooh. trying to hit him with the reverse hit of back uh, neutral yeah, he air. Yeah, uh, he caught the reverse aerial rush just with a, a slightly taller short hop and then uh, got the purple Pikmin back air because he knew that he was going to be in that space by the time the back air came out. This is a big punish or not. Yep. 
Goes for an upper air. Nice. Switching into shield art. Able to come back on the stage with a high percent. I mean, he wasn't even a high percent, honestly. Right. You just become one of the heaviest characters in the game. But the one thing you do trade off is, like, you might actually get juggled. Jump art. Able to come back with Nair. I like it. Yeah, we like to call shield art the uh, the third stock here. In, or the fourth stock, I suppose, in this game. <laughs> yep. Here in SoCal. Love the plot armor Monado, basically. Yep. This is actually a... Oh, I was going to say Rich had a really good lineup, but he was not in a really good position. So C-Sharp going to clean that up really well. He is down 99%, but you know, this is Shulk. He does have Monado arts for a reason. It's really easy for him to come back in these situations, unless you get back aired by yeah. a Purple Pikmin right there. Uh, Rich not having any of that right now. <laughs> Four throw, nice. and gets the dash attack. Some of, some of the combos are very Buster Art specific too as well, so you have to really be careful which one you're going for, because not every art will allow you to use certain combos. Now this is coming a lot closer here for C-Sharp. Think about it too, is I that because- I can't tell if they're both slinging spaghetti or if they're both just a little bit off. Well, if you think about Nair, right, where it's the hitbox that comes from below and then serves upwards, it kind of covers the angle that Pikmin usually are and tend to be at. So it can be kind of used to you know, combat Pikmin in a way. But you kind of have to be careful, right? Those, these, a lot of Shulk's, you know, startup frames are typically between 10 to like 13 frames of startup. This is a, de a dead heat right now between these two guys. Rich Brown pulling into the lead a little bit. Oh, he tried that to was up smash. Very ambitious. Very ambitious. P possibly a little bit misguided even from C Sharp. But, you know, he is going to be able to switch to shield mode. I suspect that we might be able to see that come out pretty soon, considering two purples and one blue is Rich's lineup. Yep. Dangerous situation right now. He is in an edge guard situation. Oh, no. Is that it? Yep, yep. that's it. The thing about being in speed art is you have decreased jump height. This is so true. You, yeah, you won't be able to make that recovery back on stage as high as you want to. So yeah, that you, become, you become Shulk Little Mac. Yeah, like you that. do. <laughs> you become one of the fastest characters in the game, honestly, and she should have the right idea. Actually, Little Mac's airspeed is bad, but Speed Shulk's airspeed is still good, I think, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. His so airspeed not, is still, not quite. But his airspeed is still good. All it does is change his properties to be the fastest character in the game. Basically, a fast faller. Right. Big problems that you have, like, decreased no jump height. No jumps. Yeah. yeah. But it's still good in terms of, like, when you're on stage, in neutral, off stage. You might want to switch to jump art, man. Right. That's fast. Yeah. I think his jump art was actually out. Expended? Yeah, I, I saw. Yeah. It was expended. Uh, go Monotolus, honestly. It doesn't hurt. The no Monotolus Shulk, okay. Yeah. Okay. Better to come back on stage and not come back at all. All right. Um, Piers, next we have 